the day Tennessee and Peyton Manning make their statement at a bid for the SEC crown, the Heisman Trophy, and the national championship. For four years, Tennessee has lost to Florida, but Manning returned for his senior season in part to defeat the ball's most bitter rival. Last season, Steve Spurrier and the Florida Gators celebrated a magical season, winning the national title with Heisman Trophy quarterback Danny Werfel. Now, newcomer Doug Johnson assumes the helm of the fun and gun offense as the Gators attempt to repeat as national champions. It's an SEC showdown, Tennessee versus Florida, next on CBS Sports. track to the SEC division crown and the path to a possible national title at stake. Field here at the Swamp trying to win for the first time at this stadium since 1971. They are 2-0 with victories at home against Texas Tech and on the road two weeks ago at UCLA. this to be the loudest crowd ever at the Swamp, and if that's any indication, he might be right. He has a... <laughs> to the run, and nothing lost on the play. Mark Levine ran into Mike Moten. Fred Taylor, the lone back. He goes out in the pass pattern. Johnson hit as he threw, looking for Green. It is caught! Terrific catch on the 10-yard line with Goodrich all over him. Johnson is getting pounded into the turf after virtually every throw, but his passes have been on target. If anybody questions Doug Johnson, Johnson's arm, they can forget it. He put this ball all the way to the far sideline. In college football, you need one foot down. Jaquez Green gets the foot down for the reception, but Johnson hangs tough in the pocket, doesn't wilt under the pressure of Leonard Little, number one. Two tight ends and two wide receivers into the game as Johnson works out of the shotgun. Johnson to the end zone. Touchdown! Jamie Richardson. Three wide receivers all out to the right. Shotgun. Here comes the rush. Manning back pedaling for an interception. Tony George with some running room along the near sideline. George! Copeland, the only man with a chance to catch him. Touchdown, Florida!
yards on the interception return by George, the junior. Ed Chester, the defensive tackle for Florida, he starts the whole process. He comes from the inside. But Elijah Williams, number 25, comes on the blitz from the outside. Both of them lay the wood to Peyton Manning. The ball goes up in the air. Tony George with the interception return for the touchdown. Tony George played cornerback last year, was shifted to wide uh, to a strong safety this year, comes up with the biggest interception of his life and certainly of his career. Looks like they're going to come after Hogg. Everybody up here they come. And Hogg got it away, and it's a fine punt. Jacquez Green for the 35. Turns the corner. Jacquez Green taken down from behind inside the 10. Corey Gain saved the touchdown. After 33-yard punt return by Jermaine Copeland, they blitz again. Manning has a man first down in the Florida territory and a fumble picked up by Tony George. He's buried at the 40-yard line. Marcus Nash caught the pass and then fumbled, and Florida takes over. Travis was a ball boy for the Gators when he was in the eighth and ninth grades. Johnson airing it out again for Green. It is caught! Jaquez Green out of bounds at the 25-yard line. The younger brother of the former great Nebraska quarterback Tommy Frazier. A good field position for the Gators of the 37. Johnson with time going deep again for Green. He's open! First down Gators of the 24 of Tennessee. It's almost an identical play that we saw earlier in the game. Jacquez Green runs right down the field, just fades to the outside, and Gerald Griffin is inside him and just doesn't have enough room to play the ball. The credit, I think, goes to Jacquez Green for the great route and Doug Johnson once again. Three receivers to the right, third down and five. Johnson throws, caught by Green, touchdown! Green has been having his way with the Tennessee quarterbacks here in the first half. Three receivers to the right, third down and five. Johnson throws, caught by Green, touchdown! Jaquez Green has been having his way with the Tennessee quarterbacks here in the first half. Coach, coming into this game, I'm with Steve Spurrier, by the way, in case you didn't recognize the face. All the attention was about Peyton Manning, and yet your, your young quarterback has survived the pressure very well. Your assessment of his performance thus oh, far? He's, he's played very well. we got we got to block a little better, pass protection. But right now, sort of a defensive game. We're fortunate we've scored, but we've blown a lot of chances, too. But there's a lot of ball left. Hopefully, we can play, continue playing well on defense. This is a history. This game has a history of having two completely different halves. Your biggest concern about the second half? Oh, we, we haven't played very well, so we're going to try to play better. Thanks, Coach. The end of the first half, the score, Florida 20, Tennessee 7. Jimmy Cool, it's about 110 degrees on the floor of the swamp. Third down and eight. Three wide receivers, no tight end. Manning out of the shotgun. Four-man rush. He has time. He threw an interception. 
intended for Price, who was picked off by Fred Weary. And that time you cannot blame the pressure because there wasn't very much. And it looked like with Manning's gesture, he thought Price ran the wrong route. Fred Weary lines up man-to-man -man against Peerless Price, and his job is to take him all over the field. Whether he runs short or deep, Peerless Price doesn't run a very aggressive route. He almost glides off the line of scrimmage. Weary jumps in front of the ball, makes the interception, comes over to that sideline, firing up that Gator defense. Second, second and ten. Out of the shotgun. Manning running for his life. Free football. And the Volunteers got it back. Tony George coming on the blitz. Off the ball out of the hands of Manning. And Peyton looked a little bit wobbly as he got up. And he might have just asked for a timeout. He needs some help here at the University of Florida. On first down, Taylor. All the way down to the 38-yard line of Tennessee. 31 on the run for the senior from Belglade, Florida. Moments ago, Steve Spurrier celebrated the first successful field goal of the season for the Gators. They lead by 16. After Tennessee timeout, the quick toss to Lewis. He'll be dropped for a loss. Mike Peterson, the strong side linebacker, shed his block very quickly and dropped Lewis. Rushed the ball six times in this half for 59 yards. There's another big gain. Taylor into the secondary and out of bounds inside the 30, pushed out by Corey Gaines at the 28. Professional baseball player when he's not the quarterback in Florida. Minor leaguer in the Tampa Bay Devil Ray system. Shows some elusiveness and then gets popped out of bounds by Wilson. The crowd grown, but that's in bounds and a clean hit. And Johnson points to the scoreboard. It's a little early for that stuff. And he might have been hearing it from the balls and their fans over on that sideline. Well, and he hears it when he goes out of bounds. When you go out of bounds on the opponent's sideline, there are all kinds of little things are said to you. And, and uh, John, uh, Al Wilson gave him a hit, but it wasn't a late hit. He was still in bounds. To me, it was a clean legal shot by Al Wilson. He just tried to make sure the quarterback knew he was around. Third down and two. Huge play in the ball game. Manning's pass. Batted down. Javon Curse deflected the pass. And with 12.06 remaining, Coach Fulmer will hunt from his own 40-yard line. Javon Curse acts like he's going to rush the quarterback, and then he drops into coverage and gets right into the throwing lane. Manning's trying to hit Jermaine Copeland, and he just got right into the middle of that throwing lane, got his hands up intercepted the flow of the play of the game better than if you go and miss spring ball and then try to come back he's taking a deep drop he was hit as he threw and it is caught jock plays green down to the 27 yard line terry fair came running up going for the interception and the ball went over his head Third. nasdaq college football continues from the swamp sean mcdonough with terry donahue and michelle tafoya big play here with six and a half minutes remaining in regulation time. Sean, don't be surprised. Steve Spurrier hasn't thrown the ball much to the tight end today. Don't be surprised if all of a sudden the tight end becomes a factor. Third and 25 from just inside the 30-yard line. Johnson with plenty of time. Down the middle, the tight end. Touchdown. They signaled touchdown as the ball came out. Taurus Ross. With the reception and the TD for Florida. Taurus Ross just runs right down the middle of the field. Steve Spurrier puts two wide receivers out to the wide side, then has the tight end just race up the middle of the seam of the defense. And Doug Johnson delivers the ball. Ross catches it, touchdown, before it's knocked out. He from Dade City, Florida. What you have to remember is, in college football, the ball just needs to break the plane of the end zone. 
If that ball crosses the plane, he has it now. If that ball is across the plane, it's a touchdown. Clearly, clearly a good call. We welcome you back live to Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville. Florida has led throughout. And the Gators lead by 19. Had one upset today. Out in Seattle, Nebraska defeated Washington by 13. On fourth down, Manning goes down. Florida takes over on downs. Thaddeus Bullard and Keith Kelsey combining on the sack. It's Thaddeus Bullard from the left side of the screen. Here he puts the pressure on Peyton Manning with a tremendous pass rush. And then Mayton is swarmed. Manning is swarmed under by Keith Kel Kelsey, number 41. This has been the story all day long. The ferocious rush of the Florida defense is worth of legalese that makes Steve Spurrier the highest paid coach in college football. This is the contract. It was signed September 8th. It takes him through January 31st, 2003. Here are some of the bullet points. It averages about $2 million per year. This year, his base salary, though, is just over $168,000. The deal also includes 24 home tickets for each game, cars for him and his wife, Jerry, and a $50,000 bonus if he wins the national title, $950,000 each year for equipment and apparel contracts. Terry, why'd you get out of the business? Impressed <laughs> with his poise and the way he handled certain situations, and he will go on to become, should become a great Florida quarterback. Steve Spurrier said he loves his poise, he likes his personality, he never gets too high, he doesn't get too low. Well, in the Southeastern Conference, it's still a matter of everybody else trying to catch up to the Florida Gators. Tennessee has been the closest pursuer in recent years, but the Volunteers still have not made the move up to the level of the Gators. Final score, 33 to 20. Five wins in five years for Florida in this rivalry. Here's Michelle. All right, coach, five straight wins against Tennessee. Peyton Manning threw for over 350 yards, but with little consequence. How does your defense continue to dominate the balls? Well, our defense played super the whole game. It was really not a well-played game by our offense, but somehow or another we hit a few big plays here and there. Doug Johnson, Quez Green, and then the last one there. But Tennessee was tough. They played very well. We were fortunate today, very fortunate. You got an opportunity finally to see your new quarterback in action in a truly high-pressure situation. What kind of impression did he make? Doug Johnson is a he's, he's a courageous young man. He loves to compete, and that's what gives him a chance to play so well. Our protection wasn't all that great today, uh, but when he had a little time, he can throw it in there. But he's he loves to play the game, and that, that's why he's got a chance to really be a good one. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, Michelle. Sean? Now for Terry Donahue and Michelle Tafoya, I'm Sean McDonough saying so long from Gainesville where Florida has defeated Tennessee by a score of 33 to 20. Next.